All right, so there it is. Um, more updates. There's the slab. I've taken the forms off. Um, as you can see, it'll turn out pretty well. Not too many air pockets in there. A little bit. But, you know, that's to be expected a little bit because uh, it doesn't really matter. It's just a, maybe just a stationary level surface to give the pumps something to sit on top of. Ultimately, I'll put what they call a hard rubber gasket, probably about a half inch rubber foot underneath the pump just to give it a little bit of stability so that it'll actually, if it vibrates at all, it won't, uh, it'll have like a basically um, a way of conditioning the pump so it doesn't vibrate itself to death. Uh, one of the things that kills a pump is vibration, so um, you actually want to do that for not only the pump but also the piping so that the vibration doesn't go all the way through the through all this. Um, but it's ready, and uh, hopefully this week we will have some uh, pretty looking stuff here. I mean, ultimately I don't have the electrical in, and that's that's part of what I'm going to do this week. Um, it won't be up here. It'll be coming from over there, um, and it'll just, you know, run across and then down, and then I'll have like a little junction box right here. Um, hopefully I'll do like something that's got like a waterproof connection so that if it does spray, one of the things you want to take into account is the pump's leaking, and we don't want any electrical stuff. Now there will be a breaker on the electrical box, so if it does start to short due to water or what have you, um, we'll have it snap. One of the beauties of this setup and why I put the pumps over here and anywhere else is, I don't remember from our previous uh, videos, um, if for whatever reason there is a leak on the pumps, it'll just run down here, run along this wall, and then over in that corner, as you probably can't see it, I guess if I pull this out you'll see it a little bit, but there's a hole back there. Um, yeah, let's see if you can see down there, probably not. Anyway, I can see it. Actually, you can see it from here. But anyway, that's a French drain that was put in when the house was originally built. So, if there's ever a leak, um, the water will run out the back. Um, they can get something at Lowe's called a uh, moisture detection alarm. Basically, you just set it down next to the area that you want to make sure that it doesn't get wet. And if it descends to gets to a certain humidity level, um, the alarm will go off. But uh, not sure if I'm going to do that yet. Um, my experience from pumps, they typically don't leak if you do them right. Um, and the the artwork from last night turned out really well. That's kind of cool. Uh, most people don't like pads being, if you know, affected. I'm the opposite. I kind of like this stuff because it just gives you a little something to remember by. And I think it's kind of cute how uh, Susie decided to prance her little butt right across the pad here. I think it's kind of neat. Anyway, I'm rambling again, so I will stop and. Uh, Next video will probably be up, hopefully by the end of the week. Um, hoping to have some electrical up here and over there, as I had talked about. And maybe uh, get a pump tied into here. Um, my biggest catch is I really want to get, um, there should be two pumps here. Uh, the big pump, and then there will be a circulation pump. Hadn't decided where I want to put the circulation pump. I may just use this pad for the regular pump. And then I may build a little shelf right here um, for the circulation pump because it really doesn't need um, a lot of stuff to go with it. Really all I need to do is just tap into here um, somehow. I may have to cut in right here with this, right here where my foot is. But uh, I'm going to have to tie in and then run uh, into like a, maybe a half inch or a three quarter. It's going to be a real low end circulation pump but it will run all the time. And then it'll run back, and then it'll just have lines that tap. And there's junk all over the top here now. But it'll it'll tap into these tops of each of these tanks, which will then, by forcing the water in the top, it'll cause the water to come back out and continually circulate the pump, uh, the tank, so that we have clean water continuously. I'll probably put an inline filtration system, um, like just a standard pool filter, nothing spectacular. Maybe a one inch line coming off of here and then pushing it up to there. Um, but we'll see how it goes. And uh, I'll let you know. More to come. Talk to you soon.